Hi everyone, welcome to Nancy's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very nice Egyptian dish. It's a side dish that we make in all our gatherings. It's called goulash. It's different than the Eastern European goulash. It is filo dough layers with minced meat in the middle, and then we add milk and eggs on top, and it makes it flaky and delicious. So let's start. The filo dough that I'm using today is a Greek filo dough that I was able to find in Publix. It came in two rolls, as you see. I left them in the refrigerator overnight so that they can thaw because you can't use a frozen one. You have to let it uh, thaw overnight. So uh, I'm going to use one roll as the first layer, then the second one as the second layer. And then I have my uh, ground beef. I have one and a half sticks of butter melted, which means 12 ounces. I have one onion chopped. I have two tablespoons of butter. I have two eggs. My spices are salt, pepper, and nutmeg, and one cup of milk. First step I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my ground beef. I added the two tablespoons of butter. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then I'm going to add my one chopped onion. I'm going to mix. I will wait for it to change color and then I'm going to add the meat. Now I'm ready to add my meat. As you see, just change the color. I don't want it to be golden brown or brown. Now I will add the meat. My heat is on medium low right now. Once the meat changed its color, I'm going to add salt, pepper, and nutmeg. We like to use a nutmeg with the beef in Egypt. And I will give it a mix and let it cook for another five to seven minutes. I'm going to start by greasing my pan with a little bit of butter. Then I'm going to put the first roll of filo dough. I'm using nine by 13 inch pan. This is a perfect size for the goulash or baklava. As you see, it's the same size of the pan. Now I'm going to add my minced meat in the middle. Smells is amazing because the nutmeg adds a very nice smell to it and taste as well. Now it's ni nicely spread as you see. Then I'm going to put the second layer. Perfect. Now I'm going to cut it to squares. If you have watched my baklava episode, you will, you will see that I used a trick for the butter. Usually the people when using filo dough, they like to layer the butter layer by layer with the filo dough. But actually the easiest way is to put all the filo dough, then you add the butter on top. So that's what I already I've done with the baklava, and now I will do it here as well. I am going to add my butter. This is a way less butter than the baklava because we have a lot of fat in the meat. And we will also add another liquid, which is milk with eggs at the end. So this is the first step. We'll put it in the oven now and wait for it until it gets yellow in color. And then we will add the milk and the egg. My oven is preheated on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I will put this until it becomes light yellow, and then I will show you the next step. Now my goulash is ready to receive the milk and the eggs. It took 15 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So it took 15 minutes in the oven. And as soon as I see that it, all the butter are absorbed and it's like beige color, this is when I am ready with my mix. I'm going to show you now a secret ingredient, which is a quarter teaspoon baking powder to make it rise high. And I just mixed it in. And now I will pour this on my goulash. It's the eggs, the milk. I added also salt and pepper. And then I will put it again in the oven until it's golden brown. 
Now, this is now the goulash after 45 minutes in the oven. And as you see, it's sizzling and it looks puffy and nice and amazing. And I will show you how it looks like when I cut a piece. Here it is. You can see the layers of phyllo with the meat in between. It looks amazing. I hope that you liked my episode today. I hope you enjoyed the goulash. I hope you try it and let me know. And see you next time.